This method can help answer key questions, such as how cells behave in a 3D microenvironment, cell-cell and cell-matrix interaction, and how they proliferate, migrate, differentiate, and form functional tissues. This technique is advantageous as it creates a cellular microenvironment closer to physiological conditions. Demonstrating the procedure will be Nausicaa Vitriu, a graduate student from my laboratory. The implications of the method extends to our therapy of injured tissues as it may be used to obtain tissue equivalents for reparative or regenerative medicine. The method can also be applied to other systems such as tumor models, diabetes or neurodegenerative diseases. To begin, prepare 500 microliters of a 0.5% solution of peptide RAD161 in 20% weight by volume sucrose in a microcentrifuge tube. Sonicate the solution in an ultrasonic bath at maximum power for 20 minutes. Next, dilute 300 microliters of the peptide solution prepared previously with 200 microliters of 10% sucrose to obtain 500 microliters of 0.3% solution of peptide RAD161. Then, place the microcentrifuge tube containing the peptide solution into an ultrasonic bath at room temperature for 20 minutes. Next, centrifuge the previously prepared cell suspension. Then, using a Pasteur pipette connected to vacuum line, Remove the supernatant. Add 2 milliliters of 10% sucrose to the cell pellet. Then use a